Hey guys, welcome back. This is TK with XCA Developer TV. Today I'm back at the LG booth at Mobile World Congress 2016 after the unveiling of the G5. What we have here is a 5.3 inch Quad HD display, IPS quantum display, rated at 2560 by 1440. It's about 554 PPI. The display is brilliant. We have the always on display technology. As you can see here, the display has an illuminated area where it also is similar to the AMOLED uh, display that we saw on the S7. Uh, and it is able to do that on an IPS quantum display. If you press and hold the power button in the back, the display turns on, you're able to basically go in. Um, the main reason why I wanted to do a recap on this, one of the things we noticed yesterday was the absence of the app drawer on the G5. And that's something that kind of concerned us because it seems to be a trend that now it's an option, uh, no longer an option to basically have it. It's basically removed from the G5 and you basically have no interface as far as getting it. All your applications are put on the home screen. You can customize it and you can go in and change, let's say, the grid size and so on, but you couldn't necessarily change that option. So we can go to 5x5 five five and click OK. This is something that you weren't able to change. Now, we are running the Snapdragon 820 here. We have a 16 megapixel uh, regular standard camera in the back, and we have an eight megapixel wide ca angle camera, and you're able to go back and forth between the two cameras by simply zooming with a slight delay in time. Uh, one of the other things that we have here is definitely a very good eight megapixel front-facing camera, Android 6.0 installed, 2800 replaceable battery, definitely a unique thing in the market right now. Uh, and you also have four gigs of built-in DDR, LTP DDR4 RAM. The, uh, the, as far as the actual hardware, you have 32 gigs of internal storage, expandable with SD card, up to two terabytes. And then of course, the finger, fingerprint sensor that we have on the back, that's the iconic one right there. And of course, we have USB Type-C at the bottom. Last but not least, what I wanted to show you guys here, there is a simple trick to be able to basically restore uh, the actual uh, home screen or the, uh, the launcher. I'm actually showing it to you guys right here. LG calls it the Easy Home. By selecting the Easy Home uh, launcher to be your home launcher, it actually defaults back to what it used to be with the app drawer, where all your applications are actually listed here. And it seems like there's more applications here than there were in the other one. Um, and then you're able to go in. We'll go down, we'll go into settings. We'll go display, we'll go home screen. And then we're saying select home. Under select home, if you use the home default one, and that's the normal one that was previewed to us yesterday with the launch, uh, you're automatically using it without the app drawer. And if we go back, we'll go settings, we'll go home screen, we'll go select home, and we'll go easy home. By default, the app drawer comes back. So it looks like it's an option now, not no longer a requirement to lose the app drawer. Definitely very, very good for people that definitely appreciate the, launch, uh, the app launcher or the app drawer in the launcher. Uh, again, keep it here with XEA Developer TV. Check out the forums for all the information you guys need on all these devices that are coming out. Uh, I want to say thank you very much for being with me, and I'll see you guys in the next one.